So this ain't gonna be a horse video by any means. Um, but I will be trying to upload more horse videos. But a girl on my Facebook page, I'm not gonna say her name. Um, I posted on Facebook last month that I was donating blood today and I was nervous because if you know me personally, you know I don't like needles at all. I hate them. I'm scared to death of them. <laughs> I'm actually petrified of them. If I see a needle, I'm wigging out. I cry. I scream. Bloody murder. Why you ask? What? The reason why, if you're wondering, when I was younger, I had bronchitis. And instead of giving me a shot like this, that you're supposed to, like you're supposed to, you're not supposed to take it and stab it in there. Like you're stabbing some, a knife into some meat or something. When you go to, like when you go to open up your hot dogs, you stab it and cut it. You can't, you're not supposed to give a shot like that. But anyways, the person gave me a shot, gave me a shot like that. And I screamed. And ever since then, I've been petrified of needles. But I did not realize how important and how much blood was needed until last night when a woman commented on my post and said, I just want to say thank you for donating blood and coming from a parent that has had a kid that needed blood treatment for you. I just wanted to say thank you for giving blood. I actually messaged that girl today after I gave blood. Like, I just got home, I gave blood. I got done giving blood about 12.50 or so. I took the bandage off because I'm allergic to the glue that they put on the bandages. So I put a bandaid on it when I got home. Um, the new ways. It wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. It kind of burned at first because they put like alcohol or something on it, whatever they put on it. So yeah, it kind of hurt, but and it still hurts. But the pain is worth it, in my opinion. Um, but just. Personally, I want to try and get blood whenever I can. Like, there's a couple blood, like we have a couple blood drops a year when at school, and if you're 17 or older, you can get blood. So, I decided to get blood, even though I'm petrified of niggles. And plus, I have one of the rare blood types. I have O blood. I have O blood type. I have. O positive, I think. Possibly O negative. But I know for sure I have O. I'm pretty sure it's O positive, though. But anyways. Um, I done that today. And I um, pretty much cried on myself because I did not cry. Because I thought for sure I was going to cry. I'm sorry I cannot stand my hat that way. I don't wear flat bills. Like normal hats. So I'm trying to fix it and get it right. There we go. We'll just do that. But yeah, I don't. I don't really like needles at all. Like, they're my biggest fear. Other than snakes that I don't want to breathe of. Uh, but yeah, if you're thinking about getting blood, you definitely should, especially if you're old enough. I'm not trying to scare anybody away from it because it really does help people. And I didn't realize how much it can help people. But just knowing that you give blood actually does fuck up. Um, 
Ian has O negative, so he tries to give blood whenever he can. I'm going to end this video with that note. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye.